All right, now we're going to work on the flashlights and make the flashlights more realistic. So first we're going to go to the models folder and we're going to drop in the flashlight model. Okay, and uh, here's the model. So we're going to bring it in the scene and drop it into here, into the first person character. Okay, um, so for this model, we're going to zero out its value. So you will be here. It will be in front of our first person controller. And we can make it bigger, uh, similar to the lantern size. And let it aim into the front. Okay. Then here we're going to right click and create a new material and we're going to rename it to flashlight M. Okay, and for this material, we're going to drop in our uh, diffuse map, uh, metallic map, and normal map. Okay, and apply the material onto the model. Here we go. Okay. And also, I would like to create a point light so we'll be able to see the flashlight. So I'm going to right-click on it and create a light and uh, a point light. Right-click again and create a light and point light. Here we go. Um, so bring it up. And I don't want it to illuminate a uh, big area. See, right now the range is too big. So we can uh, just scale it down and then bring it closer to the flashlight. And then here we can change it intensity. So boost it up to maybe about 10 or 12. So now we can see the flashlight is illuminated. And also, um, if you select the first person controller, as you can see, the height is one. So basically that means um, our character's height is one meter, which is not realistic. Uh, so a normal human height would be about 1.75 meters. Okay, so what we can do is, remember we have created this cube earlier, and we set the height. So we can use that as a reference. So we can just drop it into the first person controller and zero out. The value so now it'll be here okay uh, so we can use this one as a reference and then we can select our first person character which is this is the camera right uh, we can just bring it up like this okay so now we've done with the cube so we can move it out and hide it so we just use it for our skill references and then for this uh, flashlight uh, I would make it lower and then check the game view so make sure I can see it so this is the flashlight and I kind of feel the point light I can still make it stronger maybe 16 okay and then I would bring it to this side so I can see the whole thing and range a little bit more. Here we go. Okay. And then remember, we have created the different lights, right? So now we can um, add the lights to the flashlight. So here I'm gonna drop it in here under the light controller and I'm gonna rename it uh, flashlight model so I know this is the model and these three other lights so here I'm gonna change my script a little bit and double click open the switch light function here for the public object I would like to add the flash model so here I'm going to copy this part declare a new object so this will be the light model maybe flashlight model 
Okay, and then um, here I'm going to add the function here as well. So I'm going to say in the beginning the flashlight model is going to deactivate, it, same as the three lights, right? The different lighting mode. So these lights are linked to the model. So in the beginning is uh, disabled, and then. Whenever one of the lights is turned on, I also want to show the flashlight model. So here I'm going to say 2 as the first light turned on. And then second light turned on, also the flashlight model is going to be active. Third light turned on, the model is going to be active. And then as the fourth light turned on, that is a lantern, right? And then I want to hide the flashlight model. So. Here I'm going to change it to false. Okay, and then uh, okay, let me just show you what change I've made here. So this is the change I made, and then uh, go to tour manual file and save, and then go back here. Now we're going to select the light controller, and here you can see that the new object we declared. So that will be the flashlight model. So we're going to drop it here, okay? And then uh, I'm going to turn on all the, all the three lights. So here we go. So the lights is coming from this point. However, now I'm going to move them and now the light coming from this point, okay? And let's hide all these three and switch to game mode and see how it looks. It looks like... Um, We'll have to rotate the flash a little bit. So now let me just drop out the point light and then select the flash and the stuff and just rotate it. So the controller is on the top. See here. So we can see it. Okay, and game view, yes. Now we can see that. And then drop the point light into the model again. So it will be together with the flash and the model. Now you can see that in the beginning of the game, nothing is showing up. As I press 1, 2, 3, the model will stay there and uh, the lights going to change. And as I press 4, the flashlight is going to disappear. Alright, so um, now the model and the light works. However, uh, the lighting is not realistic. So let's do more works on the lights. Uh, here, let's select the first light, make a duplication and rename it to light one mid so for this one i'm going to um increase its angle first so let's try 60 and lower it down lower down the range okay and we can also drop down the intensity maybe 0.8 something okay so it will be a ring outside of our offer light and then we'll select it again and then make a duplication and rename this one to outer. Okay, and select this one. And here we can increase the angle to maybe about 95. So and range to 22. And let's try lower the intensity down to maybe about 0.5 or 0.4. Okay. So as you know, when you put a lighting bulb uh, in here, uh, the light coming out and it has the glass to reflect the lights. So the lighting ray will never be focused. So that's why I create two ring outside of our lights. Okay, so let's take a look at how it looks in reality. If I press one, here is it. Okay. And you can follow the same procedure to um, punish the second and third lights. So for example, the second light, so make a duplication and name it to mid and parent it to the second light. So for the second one, I'm going to increase here, increases by 20. Maybe 20 is too much, maybe just increase about 15 value and range I will narrow it down to about 45 and intensity drop it down to about 0.8 okay so there's a something outside there and then I'm gonna make a duplication and this one I'm going to name it to outer 
and uh, angle I would do maybe 45 and range I would lower it down to 40 uh, intensity to about 24 okay so that's the second one and then height and then the third one third one is really focused so I don't want to do too much so I can just make a duplication and, uh, uh, this is the mid the middle one and spot angle I would do maybe eight or maybe nine just a little bit and range I will lower it down to 90 intensity down to one maybe 0.9 just lower it down a little bit okay and make a duplication and this one I'll do outer angle I will do uh, 12 maybe two, maybe a little bit more so then like a 15 and the range I will lower it down to 80 or something intensity 0.4 Five. Okay, so let's take a look at how each of the lights looks like. Press one, so this is the first light and second light, third light. In the next video, we're going to create instruction for the player to press the key to pick up the flashlights. And also we're going to create an instruction to tell the player how to use the flashlights.